BBC Television presents... Hancock. What's up with you, Hancock? You've got a face like thunder. It's not even raining. I've been fired. That's what, 15 years I've served the BBC, man and boy. And that's it. No, how's your father? Nothing. I'm out on me ear. Me persona's been grated, Sid. <laughs> sacked? What on earth did you do? Kill someone? You can't get a sack from the BBC. It's physically impossible. They don't even pension you off till you're 90. Look at that, Amber. They can't get rid of the bugger. <laughs> Without David Attenborough, there'd be no flaming climate change. <laughs> I don't know. It's not clear. I was asked if I knew what I'd done, and I said, no, not really. Talking with me mouthful in the BBC canteen is all I could come up with. <laughs> well, what did they say? There must be a reason. Nothing. They just sat there whispering, and then they stared at me. I felt about that eye. They made you feel small, did they? No, I went down on me hands and knees looking for me pen. <laughs> I was about that I. We'll have to contact them. I'm your union representative at the BBC, as it happens. Oh, my God, not you. Why did it have to be you? I'm sunk. That's it, then. I may as well give up. Lost me pension, me job. No more Hancock's half hour. What am I going to do? You know what, Sid. You're exerting an unusual influence on my life. Every time something's wrong, you're the only one who can fix it. <laughs> Oh, you know I'm always here for you. Well, start thinking and come up with some ideas. You're my union representative, after all. Doesn't mean I know what to do. Listen, I'll contact the BBC and find out the reason. I've got a liaison there I work with. Who is it? Her name's Mrs Mary Whitehouse. She's a bit of a tartar. Done a hatchet job on a number of famous people, like Russell Brand, Michael Parkinson, Andrew Neal... Gary Lineker. She's got rid of all of them. If she does hatchet jobs, I'm finished. What am I going to do? I might as well tend to be resignation now. Mary Whitehouse, the Iron Lady of the BBC. <laughs> as your union representative, I must advise you that you can't tender your resignation. You've been sacked. <laughs> As Mr. Hancock's union representative, I would like an explanation for why he got his cards. I'm afraid that horrid little man said something exceedingly unpleasant about one of the lady members of the BBC. Horrid little man? Oh yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> but what did he say exactly? I really can't bring myself to repeat it. It's so offensive that I'd have to wash my mouth out with soap right after I said it. Well, we really need to know, because the horrible little, I mean, Hancock, hasn't got a clue why he's been given the shove. Oh, uh, very well then, but under protest. He called the lady in question a mad cat woman. <laughs> Is that all? Mrs. Whitehouse. Mrs. Whitehouse? The line's gone dead. Well, what did she say, Sid? Well, before the line went dead, she said you told someone that a woman at the BBC was a mad cat woman. Told who exactly? I don't remember saying that, Sid. <coughs> Hang on a minute, Hancock. Yes, Mrs. Whitehouse. No, Mrs. Whitehouse. Yes, Mrs. Whitehouse. Oh, you just went to wash your mouth out, I see. Hancock doesn't know anything about it, he said. Well, I'll have to come round to discuss it. And the person he said it to, Mr James, was me. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Oh, yes, your ladyship. He's very sorry, and, and we'll, we'll see you later. Well, that's it. You've done it now, Hancock. As your official union representative... I must warn you that you're in deep shtuk. You've made it flaming worse, haven't you, Sid James? <laughs> I haven't made anything worse, Hancock, because the woman you insulted is... <laughs> Mrs Mary Whitehouse. That's it then, Sid. I might as well slash me wrist now. I've offended Miss Iron Niggers herself. <laughs> Oh, Hancock, if you go around insulting important ladies at the BBC like Mrs Mary Whitehouse, 
I did try. I had her on the phone. I wasn't groveling exactly. I did the best for you. But I must say, I think it's curtains. <laughs> Hey, don't go around insulting important ladies in the BBC like Mrs Mary Whitehouse either, Sid. She reigns you call her a mad cat woman. No, I didn't. It's a lie. Mrs Mary Whitehouse doesn't lie, Hancock. She's cast iron at the BBC. Copper bottomed and zinc lined. <laughs> well, thanks for all the scrap metal analogies, Sid. But how am I going to get out of this? It's my word against hers. Yes, and your word doesn't count for nothing at the BBC, Hancock. Who is it? You're looking for Mr Hancock? He's not in. We haven't seen him for weeks. <laughs> it's Mary Whitehouse. Please open the door, Mr Hancock, and be quick about it. And you can stop lying. We know all about your movements. Meow. Shut up, Sid. You're making things worse. If she hears that, she'll think it's me. <laughs> Um, good evening. I'm William, Willie Ivan Willie, only of William Willie solicitors for Mrs. Whitehouse. <laughs> I've never met a Willie Willie before. Have you got a cousin called Willie Won't He? <laughs> no, I haven't, and I've heard that one before. Do you like making fun of people, Mr. Hancock? By the way, to get Willie Willie, it's £300 an hour, and I take very long lunch breaks. <laughs> right, please take a seat. I want this to be over as quickly as possible. I don't want us fighting like cats and dogs over this. Cock, I wouldn't start introducing cats into the conversation. She might think you're being sarcastic. Are you trying to be sarcastic, Mr. Hancock? <laughs> You've already hurt my pride, you know. Pride? Pride? That's big cats, isn't it? <laughs> no, I wouldn't dream of hurting your pride. Now, how can we prevent this catastrophe? <laughs> He's doing it again, Mr. Willy Willy. That cat thing. <laughs> now, to get into the nub, you were over telling an important member of the BBC that Mrs. Whitehouse, my client, was, and I quote, a mad cat woman. <laughs> Uh, we deny it unreservedly. We wouldn't dream of such a thing. Well, as it happens, I was party to this conversation, and these were your exact words. Exactly. Mad as in mentally defective. Cat as in a member of the species Felix Phoenix. And woman as in one of those you know the opposite sex. <laughs> We categorically deny it, Mr. Willy Willy, your honour. <laughs> You're doing it now, Sid. And what's all this we? We this, we that. I do hope you're not trying to be funny. Categorically, indeed. I'm not even a cat person. I don't own a cat. <laughs> Out of interest, Mrs. Whitehouse, what do you own? Mind your own business. I don't want to talk to you. I refuse to talk to you. Why? Has the cat got your tongue? <laughs> Hancock, what are you doing? I don't know. I just can't help it anymore. It just keeps coming out when I'm rattled. I'm not in control of me mouth, <laughs> mouth anymore. It's got a life of its own. <laughs> oh, you're really trying it on, aren't you? I think this qualifies as an hate crime. I shall recommend my client take further action so you never work again. <laughs> well, that's not so bad. Never have to work again. That's nice. I can put my feet up. What sort of deal are we talking about? A nice cat pension? I mean, fat pension? No, Mrs Whitehouse is a VIP. She'll make sure that you never get employed by anyone. You'll spend your life on the dole, won't you? You'll be a non-person. They'll erase all images of you from photos on the BBC. <laughs> You can't do this to me, Willy Nilly. I mean, Willy Willy. Who does Mrs. Whitehouse think she is? The cat's whiskers? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> uh, no, don't worry, I'll get the membership to come out on strike if there's any more nonsense like this. Can't you see we're having kittens over this? <laughs> By the way, who are you? You say you're a union shop steward, but what's your name? Uh, I don't have to tell you my name, it's secret. I'm undercover. Yes, you can, Sid. I don't think you could do any more harm than you already have. He's Sid, Sidney James. No, you're not, you're lying. You're Tony Anchor, aren't you? If you don't stop lying, we'll take his court as well. We'll have your cat guts for gutters. <laughs>
Let us see, Mr. Willy Willy. So, if you think the wrinkly one is Tony Hancock, who do you think the other one is? <laughs> oh, the fat one. Oh, he's Sir James. I think there's been a bit of a mix-up. I'm Tony Aloysius Hancock of Hancock's Half Hour. Oh, no, you're not the one who said Mrs. Whitehouse is a mad cat woman. It was him. I tell you, stop this in a bell. <laughs> So it was you, Sid, was it? Did you say Mrs. Whitehouse was a mad cat woman? I might have done. It was a long lunch. <laughs> and did you impersonate me? I might have done. As I said, it was a long lunch. <laughs> By that time, it was even longer. Oh dear, 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 I'm sorry, Mr. Hancock. It looks like there's been a big mistake. Mr. Willy Willy, you're fired. Oh, but he said his name was Tony Hancock. Anyway, that's six thousand pounds and twenty pence for my expertise. You've got to be joking. You're a Wally, not a Willy. And as for you, Sid James, you let me think it was me, and all along it was you. Wait till I get my hands on you. Sid, Sid, where are you? Where have you gone? <laughs>